Well, it is that time of year when Minnesota lakes are just pretty to look at. <laughs> Too cold to swim in, too warm to walk on, and the more than 10,000 bodies of fresh water. How did Minnesota get so many lakes? Good question. Heather Brown separates the science from the lore. So you're telling me it's not Paul Bunyan and Babe's <laughs> footprints? <laughs> well, I mean, it's always nice to mythologize. Uh... But alas, our 11,482 Minnesota lakes. Our favorite lake is Woman Lake. Lake Superior. The lake at my cabin. Lake of the Isles. Are far older. Minnetonka. <laughs> <laughs> than our Minnesota legends. Our landscape was re rearranged, you know, 14,000 years ago. Rearranged by glaciers. Glaciers okay. are bullies. Despite the name calling, geologist Carrie Jennings really respects the giant accumulations of ice, snow, and rock that once covered all of Minnesota. They come into a landscape <laughs> and they spackle it, they block rivers, they push up mounds in front of them. They scoop out huge areas. Think Lake Superior. It's just so majestic and mysterious. There's a lot of different ways a glacier can rearrange a landscape. How about the lakes around Gull? There, part of the glacier collapsed and left behind blocks of ice. And once those blocks of ice melt, then you end up with a much smaller lake. Or here. I really like this example here at Orchard Lake in Lakeville. Which were tunnels under the glacier. These actually were underground or under ice rivers. The whole process actually started two and a half million years ago. And the landscape before that probably did look like Badlands in, in the Dakotas. Back then, glaciers covered part of the U.S. Over time, they'd recede, come back, recede, and on and on. 14,000 years ago, the last glaciers leave, yeah. and they leave behind this Messy landscape. Yes, exactly. Messy uh -huh. landscape. Does rainfall then fill it in, yeah. or is it groundwater? It's groundwater and rainfall. No glaciers went west of the Missouri River, and Jennings says Wisconsin's glaciers weren't quite as messy. There is a part of Wisconsin that was never glaciated. That's not mm. true of Minnesota. All of Minnesota has been glaciated at one time or another. Mm. Minnesota was in, in a unique spot. We really were. No, no, no. I mean, are you sure about this? Because Lake Bemenji looks a lot like a big That's footprint true. to me. That's true. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Another reason why Minnesota has more lakes is our landscape is younger than other areas. For example, glaciers created lakes in Illinois about 10,000 years before Minnesota, but most of those lakes have filled in. If you have a good question for Heather, email her by visiting wccocom links.